What's up, guys? My name is Chaotic. Come back at you guys with a lit one. And I uh, hope you guys got someone to smoke up. And this video is going to be an entertaining one, man, to say the least. Because, you know, I'm definitely going to uh, explain this one. So, you, you can see by the title, it's some crazy shit. So, I hope you guys stay tuned for that, you know. You know, we hope you guys stay high, stay lifted. And, you know, hope you guys are lit as I am right now. I'm feeling pretty good. So, you know, I decided I'd make a video right now. So, yeah. All right. <coughs> Let me get started. <coughs> Oh man, I need to get some water real quick. Mm. All right. So, this video is about <coughs> stealing two pounds of weed. And yes, you heard that right. So, this took place around <coughs> around November 2018. This is back when I like uh right after I graduated high school and, and you know, I was like just kicking back, you know, I was chilling with some friends and you know, one this was one day this guy told us that he had a guy that would actually really want. I mean, no, no, he had a place where we could find like some weed, right? So, you know, the day rolls around, and you know, basically, you know, he decides to you know go you know check out the spot. So he goes and gets it right, and you know he comes back with it, and what do you know? So it's like a, it's a big old black trash bag. Of fucking weed, man. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, this is like definitely two pounds or over this. And I, I, I specifically remember like weighing it out. And by the way, the thumbnail I use, so like these, these images like are actually real. So those are the actual pictures of the bags that we had. And uh I believe it was just some mid stuff, but it was it was some really good stuff, man. You know, you could you could tell by the pictures, man. It's really good. So yeah, so we, he steals this fucking, I mean, we steal this fucking two pounds of weed because I ended up helping him, like, sort out all the weed and shit. And, like, you know, I helped him carry it. And, man, it was so much stuff. I remember, like, he was he was at his, like, his, other, his other buddy's house and, and he was permeating his whole house up with that fucking black trash bag of weed, man. And I was like, dude, yeah, just come through, like, come, come over to my like my house, man. You know, we'll be, we'll be good. And shit, man. So we got that going and when you know, uh, you know, my house was a safe spot for that. So, <laughs> so yeah, so we had to, s I, I bagged up the weed, you know, we, we started counting and we, we, we weighed the bags and I believe, yeah, we, it was definitely two pounds because I added it all up. It was about, I don't know how many grams. I kind of forgot. Uh, believe it was, uh, well, two pounds, that would be fucking it was, it was an, it was definitely two pounds. Uh, the grams are, I don't know what. I never wrote that down, you know, I just kind of just factored that in. So, yeah, we over here smoking it up, man. We're getting high as motherfucker, passing blunt after blunt. And we're hitting out of the bong. And we're hitting out of the fucking, the bubbler. And we're hitting out the pieces. And we're just like cheech and chonging, man. And I, I was like, oh, my God, this weed is potent as hell. I like, you know, it, when you get the nugs, because we sorted it out, we started sorting the trim, like, from the fucking nugs and the nugs. And we were smoking the nugs, grinding them up, smoking it. It was actually some pretty good stuff. It got us pretty high, I'm going to say. And it, it was it was, it was was good for the time being, man. It was some good shit. So, you know, over the time, I actually make, like, of having this two pounds of weed th that we stole he actually did like okay we actually did this twice so me and this friend we stole these two pounds of weed twice so i would say we stole around you know four pounds of weed uh in total from these little adventures you know and you know we were just fucking going around just doing like stupid ass shit, you know like coming out of high school man and it was just fucking awesome bro you know this shit that we could do and get away with you know at the time it was definitely worth like to talk about so interesting video you know so i hope you guys enjoy man you know <laughs> and so yeah so the rest of the time you know i actually figured i was gonna make some brownies man so i was in there making some brownies with the fucking weed and i made some can oil with the weed and i mixed the can oil with the fucking activated weed with the brownie and so i had like double dose uh weed brownies and they were very pro and man you take one you're fucking out you eat one, you're out. You're so high, you just cannot stay up, man. This shit fucking knocks you out. So, 
I was just chilling, man. I was like enjoying myself, you know, making these brownies. And man, dude, they were fucking lit. And I remember, like, I just kept feeding for them. So I just kept eating them all. I was trying to sell them, but I just ate them all. Really bad idea. Really bad idea. It was a waste. I was building a tolerance all the time, but it was like medicinal and all was, you know, all was like jazz and all that crap, you know. It was pretty cool how that, you know, you know, like we made, actually, I remember making like 20 or 25 brownies out of that weed. And, you know, I put that shit to use, man. Those, those pounds of weed, I really just like ate a whole bunch, smoked a whole bunch, did the best I could, you know, of using it. And also... I made uh, some leftover, you know, I, I made sure to reuse everything, so the can of oil, I never had that, and I would use that to make some eggs and put in some eggs and all that shit, and it was fun, man, it was actually really worth the, you know, the whole experience of uh, getting those pounds of weed, man, and yeah, man, we were fucking... Cheech and Chong up in that bitch like that was some movie movie type shit like some some movie event scripted in real life and yeah man my house I remember I used to have so much weed up in that hair out of the house it just stank like it I remember that freaking when we moved out damn homeowners tripped out cause the whole house stunk and I'm like damn well shit you can't really blame us you know I mean you know, we did have all that shit in there so you know it is what it is you know we did what we did and, you know, you know, we were kids, you know, we were trying to have fun, trying to make a lit up in that bitch. You know, I remember like that was some like fucking that weird Molly's phase I went through and all the weird shit. And, you know, it, it was just like a really weird phase in my life around that time. It was like 2018 to 2019. And, you know, I, I did a lot of learning, man. You know, it's 2022, man, I'm feeling good. And yeah, man. So I don't even know. What else we did other than smoking that shit over the course of a few months, man? We had so much of that shit, but also people were like, I guess like some people were taking that shit because it was free. So like we would invite people over and some people would just be taking shit out of the fucking weed box. I mean, weed, weed bag. <laughs> and, you know, you know, eventually we just ran out of that shit. And everyone's just like kind of fiending for that shit, you know, being little fiends up in that bitch. And I was like a little, I was like getting a little trap started up in the house, but not, not, not too much, you know, just, it would have been bad if it was that kind of like, you know, trap, but you know, it wasn't nothing like that. So man, yeah, so it was definitely two pounds of fucking weed up in the house, permeating the shit out of everything. And we, we were like, hell yeah, this is lit, man. We're smoking that ganja, chilling out with the homies. And, you know, just stealing that shit, man. So this is like, uh, yeah, this is my another uh, another episode of my stealing series, man. You know, I got I still got more. I told y'all. So, yeah, man. Yeah, so my homies just leave, you know. I'm left with the weed. I, I, uh, I'm just chilling back, like smoking it up, just playing some video games the rest of the night, you know, chilling out, you know, just doing whatever I wanted, you know, basically. Like with that, with that weed, cause uh, we just had way too much of it, you know. We had to, we had enough to go around for sure, man. You know, for sure. And it was lit. Oh man, it was lit. And you know, I was just wondering, like, if I could ever get that again. You can't really find that again. You know, where are you gonna find that? So the fact that this dude knew the spot, and you know ha how I helped him during that time was, you know, definitely perfect timing. Because perfect timing means the right thing happens. So, yeah, man. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy life. And, you know, other than that, I didn't really do it too often. Like, try, trying to get that. I only did, like, a few times. You know, a few times is enough to, uh, you know, steal at least two to five pounds of weed. Out of that motherfucker. Uh, I guess he knew some spot where this guy was like harvesting weed or something. And he would leave bags out. And uh, he would go pick it up. Or some like some landowner or something. Some guy with a truck. And then I remember one day he was like, oh shit, that guy's, <laughs> that's the guy with the truck. I need to hide. And he's like, and he runs. He's like, what the hell? 
and he, he you know he just hides and he's like he's like oh man he can't see me like get in front of me get in front of me you know I was like oh shit all right man and yeah I don't know so I guess it was I guess it was true maybe it could have been that guy in that truck that we saw that it was the guy that we were stealing the weed from I don't know man really weird pretty interesting but you know that's just that's just the way it is with that and uh would I do it again I think I would because it it was just really fun man it was lit definitely worth doing don't try this at home <laughs> don't do any of this you know stick out of that shit you don't really want to worry about potentially getting caught and carrying around a big old bag like that not a good idea I mean, I guess you could make it look like a trash bag, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. As long as you stay, you know, stay safe, you know. Don't be doing dumb shit. Learn from my mistakes. It was a mistake, but, you know, I got lucky, right? <laughs> so, all right, man. So, I hope you guys stay in high, stay lifted, you know, guys and girls, and uh, see you guys in the next videos. Peace.